Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Wilds. Our wild wolf sanctuary. Oh, Ziaria, you're so freaking beautiful. Just look at her. Our wild wolf sanctuary set somewhere in the American uh, Midwest where hopefully we are going to be able to restore a land for our beautiful timber wolves to roam through fields and forest and also uh, some wonderful territory for all of their prey items as well because if we want those lovely predators then we are going to need to make sure that they have something to eat uh, no offense to my bison and yes to those of you who kept being very concerned how I kept calling these guys buffalo that's a colloquial thing which means it's a local thing growing up in the Midwest we called these guys buffalo more than bison where I lived in Missouri it totally just depends on who you're hanging out with and who you are with and it's a great reminder of why it is so important to know the Latin names for animals which are specific to the subspecies and I would like to introduce all of you to the bison bison in honor of the people who are very confused about buffalo only belonging in Africa um, I wanted to explain these may be locally known in some areas of the Midwest as buffalo but they are indeed bison bison which I thought was really hilarious that is that's its Latin name literally Normally you get a really fancy Latin name that like you cannot pronounce and it just looks like a bunch of random words strung together. Uh, but this guy is actually the bison bison. Also known as just the bison. The American bison. Or the wood bison. Depending on what subspecies we're talking about. But I love them! I'm actually really falling- look at that big old face! I'm really falling for their big fluffiness. I am falling for how unique they look. Already I have done a lot of research about how amazing they are, especially when it comes to plowing through snow. These guys will actually make big, like, trails through the snow during the intense winters that other animals will also use in order to push their way through and find different prey items and find their way through the snowy water or the snowy, like, ground. Heckin! They're really cool. We'll talk more about bison. I've done a lot of research about them in honor of our wolf quest experiences as well. Also, our bison are pregnant! I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> Gamer girl! What the heck? Gamer girl is giving birth! Oh, you guys, that's so exciting! Gamer Girl is actually having a baby! It's gonna be a little baby bison! That's really great because if we want our wolf pack to be able to grow, we actually need to keep the population of prey animals expanding. And we're not gonna just leave that to the bison either. We're gonna try to get some more prey animals in just a second. Also, Knight, you seriously need to move. There's, try there's a baby trying to be born here. <gasps> Are you kidding me? I wasn't ready for how cute the baby was! Embrace? <gasps> what a precious name for this tiny little bison. But we're actually going to name her after one of you guys. This is going to be Roses, after Callie of Roses. What a awesome name. Oh my gosh, she's so freaking adorable. We need to make some rose gardens and put down some of our squirrel tapieries in her honor. Oh, that's so freaking cute. But all right, let's check on our wolves. Um, oh, many guests think the tickets are underpriced. Yes! Start paying us those mu big bucks. Give me those money. We need that to be able to keep our entire, like, facility growing. So again, even though this is part of the pixel biology network of wonderful sanctuaries, zoos, and research centers, it is having to stand on its own when it comes to finances. So we want to try to expand really nice and slow in some aspects, because a new start to a zoo always takes a little while before we can turn it into one of our multi-million dollar awesome things. Um, which means we do want to train our staff, but we want to be careful about that. We do want to put down more places for people to shop, but we want to do it carefully and slowly. And the most important thing that we're going to actually have to worry about here in Wolf Wilds is making sure that the wolf pack really grows and thrives. We're going to end up having multiple wolf packs, and every time a wolf baby is born and matures, uh, we're actually going to need to pluck out one of their prey items from the mini fields where the prey will roam. So on that honor, before our wolves decide, hey, I like you, you like me, let's have puppies, Ziaria and Aelin, 
Uh, hopefully they can. They're getting really old. Ooh, that they they might they might be too old for puppies. I'm a little concerned. We might have to adopt a new pack, um, which would be very sad. But before they decide to have pups, let's go ahead and we're gonna add in another new animal. That oh, what the heck? Yay! Guest numbers are up. We're gonna add in a brand new animal that we have never had in any of in any of there they are. Our pixel biology zoos, the Broghorn Antelope! Oh my gosh, this is going to be very exciting. And uh, look at their Latin name, Antilocoparia americana. Oh, and Willow is about to mate. Yes, the bison population is spreading. But I have never in my entire life in person seen a pronghorn antelope. I have just seen really amazing videos of them jumping over fences and also great videos about why it's so important to make sure that cattle fencing isn't too high or else you will block the migration of these amazing antelope. I don't know how many antelope are actually, like how many species are actually still in existence on the North American continent. So I would love to learn about that too. So we're gonna have a great time researching these guys and trying to understand a little bit about how cool they are. They apparently come in albino forms as well, but I wanna make sure. <gasps> Caitlin's about to have her baby too, yes! Wild herds are growing. Oh dear, Emberly, the antelope is not, not capable of having any babies. There are not very many female antelope. <laughs> okay, what are the, the average sizes of their herd? So they like to have up to one male, 10 females. So let's see, social size. They need to at least have a few to be happy, I think. So let's go ahead and we're gonna grab a couple females. In fact, we'll grab all of these females and just cross our fingers that we'll get some healthier ones because we need to make sure we're able to have plenty of healthy babies considering the wolves are going to need to eat. And thus, we need to keep the populations up and going. Uh, and who's a healthy male? Ooh, Wyatt here. Let's have him from Wildlife Sanctuary. All right. And they actually are interspecies bonuses to hang out with the bison. So Proghorn Antelope and the bison like being together. I'm probably going to need to expand their zone and definitely train up our keeper so that our keeper will get things tidied up a little faster. All right, and all of you guys are about to become baby bison and antelope. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. We have a new baby. There's Roses, and here's Maslin, who is going to be named Ayla. Welcome, Ayla. Welcome, welcome to the herd. And I think what we'll do when it is time to roll and see um, when the wolves hunt, we will actually go the traditional route and we will look for elders and babies first because that's how the wolves actually would do their hunting, looking for the weakest members of the herd first. And then we will see who the weakest member is in terms like of size, especially, or immunity. So we'll see if we have any particular member who is really weak in terms so if they're smaller and not able to run as fast, or if they're very sickly, because wolves pecking off the sickly members of a herd is actually one of the ways that they contribute to pushing those populations to healthier and healthier specimens. We'll talk more about that later too, because we've got to focus on the pronghorn antelope. Hello, beautiful. You look muddy. Are you already covered in mud? How did you literally just get here and you're already covered in mud? I think Wyatt was playing in the mud, and that, that's what was going on. Oh, Wyatt, you're really stressed. Oh, no, guys. I think Wyatt doesn't like people. Heckin, we got to help him out. We've got to help him out so that he doesn't get super stressed out. Let's get the um, security down here. All right, where's security again? Screens and cameras, security. We want to tell everybody, shh, shh, please. Don't scare the antelope. There we go. All right, we'll see if this helps. <gasps> Just in time, because the aria is about to mate. Oh my gosh. You guys, wolf pups. Oh no, she didn't get pregnant. Oh no, Aelin, did you get too old at the last minute? 
I know you were 10 years old when we adopted you, but ah, are you, are you going to be infertile now? Sexual sterility is till death though. So I think, I think that we just, for some reason, even though they're both like super high in fertility, didn't have luck then. All right, let's make sure that this area is big enough. The space is no longer sufficient size. So we're actually going to make this bigger for our really awesome herd. And we're gonna keep the size like going this way for a little bit, I think. And I'll put down some trees in just a second that they can kind of get behind if people make them feel a little too uncomfortable. And at some point I wanna be able to make this really big like our vast horizons that we have in our Sahula Sand Safari, which I freaking love. And we're gonna have a Jeep tour. So we'll have, we'll call it like the, um, the country ride, huh? Like the, you know, when you go like driving in the countryside, I guess we would call this the ranger tour. That's what we would do. All right, well, let's make this bigger and then we'll give them another space away from people so that they don't have to worry about being stressed out. Whoops, that was weird. All right. I love using the null barriers first because then you don't have to have a financial effect on when you mess up sometimes. All right, actually, I'm putting these at a cattywampus angle. That's my problem. Let's come on in. And, oh, I see what's going on now. All right, there we go. And then let's expand. Okay, let's not snap to grid. That's my problem. Oh, listen to those bison! That's so cool. They're a little cranky right now, but we'll fix it. All right, then we want to come on in. Oh, I hear the protesters. <laughs> that didn't take long. All right, there we go. So now they have a bigger area over here. Why are you guys protesting? For these guys, because they're stressed out? I'm gonna fix it, I'm working on it now. Y'all need to just calm down. Here, and we'll put down some trees over here. That will give them a little bit of privacy. There we go. And then let's add in like another mud bath back here. I love the mud baths. I really love the mud baths. All right, and we're gonna need another spot for the animals to be able to rest. But we need to get this area built and functional. Ah, listen to that. We need to get this area built and functional and looking nice. I wish I had more like cabin places to let the animals rest. Before, giant Galapagos tortoise. I don't know, I mean, I guess I could build out of rocks. I, I, I We could have some piles of rocks that the antelope could hide in, but I don't think that they would really wanna do that. Oh dear, I can hear like a whole bunch of people protesting. <laughs> no, that's not what I want. Here, a natural ivy cave. We'll go ahead and we'll have a little natural ivy cave behind these trees. That actually seems like a great idea. There we go. Ah, now the inspector's here. Look, I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay, let's see if we can help out Wyatt. Okay, Proghorn and Antelope are a little fussy. Stress. Is it because you see people? I mean, I could try to change the barrier so that they can't see the people. Let's see if the uh, one-way glass obstructed. Why? Why is this obstructed? What do you mean? Is it because I put this too close? Fooey. All right, hang on. How dare you protest? My wolves are gonna be hungry and I need everyone to calm down so that the antelope have babies so that we don't have to worry about them like eating the adults. What the heck? Okay, hang on one second. I don't know why that is blocked. Oh, the barrier is so close, that's why. Interesting. Okay, now people can see. Let's see if that helps out the proghorns. Ravon's fine. She's like, I'm not stressed. I don't know what you people are talking about. All right, and the proghorns are calming down. If the buffalo decide to make this just completely burst open or not, 
is a whole nother question. All right, you all need to calm down. Go away. Look, I'm sorry. It's your fault, you know. My my proghorns just didn't want to see your faces. All right, what do you think, Wyatt? You feeling better? He is indeed starting to feel better. All right, everyone's calming down. They all loved you, Wyatt. They wanted to make sure that you were going to be all right. And we need some specific to you species toy enrichment. Everyone calm down. The proghorns are fine. They literally just didn't want to see your faces. We're just going to have to maybe keep an eye on the buffalo and make sure that they don't try to like burst open the glass windows. But, you know, worse come to worse, we could do some sort of um, like just moat or we could put a bunch of rocks so the buffaloes couldn't get close to the glass fencing haha -ha, maybe that's what we'll do to kind of prevent that just in case yay the protesters are leaving oh thank freaking goodness all right let's put down some toys little grab balls yes come play with the grab balls and be cute antelopes um i'm gonna put the grab balls because i think those would be adorable up close there we go and now we should have no problems from our proghorns. Yay! Oh, oh, also we need a research area because I literally don't have any research about these guys. And if we don't research them th with our vet... Oh, heckin! People really want to see the snake. If we don't research them with our vet, then we're not going to get enough information about them. And we need to set up some sort of special wolf mountain. I actually do want to carry on my very... um. There we go, the howling wolf decor. I want to try to carry on my once upon a time was a tragedy in our Zudesia Zoo attempts of adding in this really cool howling wolf for every wolf that happens to be born and successfully stay. So we have to wait till they mature because we have to make sure they have enough food that they can make it to adulthood. Uh, but, oh, and it, you know what, if they're really sickly, like if they have really bad immunity, I think I'm actually, or they're like a runt, I think I might actually roll to see if they survive to adulthood. That would be a really good challenge. Uh, all right, but we're going to go ahead and put down a couple of these for our two current wolves. And we'll say that they're part of like an ancient history. There we go. That has been part of this mountainside for quite some time. And we're going to name one after Ziaria and the other after Ziara. There we go. So Ziara. Uh, and I guess it doesn't matter what generation they are. We're just going to leave them named after the wolves. Because sometimes when I try to keep track of the generations, it gets a little tricky. All right. And then Aelin. There. Oh, I love that. We're going to have such a good time decking all of this out, you guys. Also, let's come down to our wonderful keeper, wildlife ranger, Kiera, one of our amazing patrons who has made all of these adventures possible. And we're going to give her a little bit of training. And I think we're actually going to start training up some of our staff. Maybe. There we go. How are the proghorns now? Feeling good. Feeling fancy. Being adorable. I love how the buck that we have amongst the proghorns, he just steals the toys. He's fussy. He's a little bit of a diva. He kind of reminds me of Julian from our Animal Crossing adventures. <laughs> All right, we're doing it, you guys. Okay, let's get a research area down. And I need to start naming these cabins after some of you as well. Oh, that'd be so cute. All right, this won't take very long. Let's see. And we need research, please. I need a little cute research cabin. And we're going for the New World theme because I've never used it before. And I think it's pretty cute. Oh, I love the staff center with a roof garden. Oh, that's really cool. I think that's definitely more as... Oh, look at that! They even put down like some watermelon and they have a whole bunch of cute little fizzy drinks. That makes me think about our Sims 4 eco lifestyle so much. Um, however, this is pretty tropical feeling, so I think it's actually best suited for some of our other zoos, like the Zudesia Zoo. Uh, I really, I, I keep calling it Zudesia Zoo. I mean our main zoo, the Pixel Sanctuary. Let's see, what else do we have? South American. Oh, this is cute. A small staff building with plants. That would definitely do it. 
that has a repair area, it has a feeding station, and it has a... I wonder, should I replace this? And it has... I mean, that'd be really cute. Huh, and it does have, like, the mechanical spot. Okay, you know what? Hang on. I really like that. So we're actually going to move a few things around really quickly. And where'd that go? Come here, cute little thing! We're gonna put plants! Plants on top of a building! Of course I would love that! Staff building with plants? Pwah, we're on it. We're doing this. Okay, that's kind of hilarious to have a whole bunch of stairs, like, leading up, but we don't need that. There we go. Let's see, let's do this, and let's scoot it over just a little bit, like so. And then that way, now we've got a research area, we've got, we'll empty out this keeper spot because we don't need that, and we'll put the trade center there instead. Well, actually, should I just move, where'd my keeper spot go? Oh, I deleted it. Blah. Okay, we need that. We need all of these, actually, so I'm just going to keep them. Boom! Adorable! Look at that cute little cabin. And then we can move this little trade cabin kind of at the back here. And we'll put some cute little trees down because the trade cabin isn't needed very often. So we can probably decorate around it with some cute little trees. All right. Are you going to not connect? Okay, that's fine. We gotcha. Don't worry. There, little path. Boom. And then all of these, I'm actually going to put down some nice little dirt paths right there. Uh, oh, well, we'll just, yeah, we'll put down the dirt path over there. No, nope, whoops. All right, there we go. Phew! Don't mind me just having a little bit of an adventurous time. Uh, and now we have a feeding station, we have got a research station, and we have got a mechanical research area, which we don't really need because we know all of the mechanic research from our other zoos. But maybe my mechanics will be happy for that. And look at the cute plants! Oh, there's even a little bear! <gasps> Grizzly bears! Heck, we have so much that we could add over here. This is going to be awesome. And let's go ahead and have... We're going to train our vet up, actually. Let's train up our vet. Let's train up our field guide. Um, Let's train up our bonsai artist, who is our caretaker. And let's start a little bit of that vet research on the American bison. There we go. Yay! You guys! <gasps> Sarah is about to meet again! Springtime is upon our wolves! Are we going to have more babies? Oh my heck. I hope that the, the prey animals are... <gasps> Ciara is expecting offspring! They're coming! The very first litter that we're ever going to have in the Wolf Wilds is on the way. Let's make sure that we've got plenty of antelope, we've got plenty of babies being born, and we are prepared for that awesomeness on this side too. But alright guys, thank you so much for joining me. Next time we will name all of our prog horns and we will name some of the cabins after some of you guys. So be sure to leave your comments down in the comments section below. If you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.